Welcome back to Living Local. Filled with a variety of meats and cheeses, charcuterie boards are not only trendy, but a tasty treat for gatherings. And today we're learning how to turn simple snacks into an edible masterpiece. That's right. Joining us in studio is Taylor Jamison, the owner of Plate Me QC. Jamie, thanks so, so much for coming in today. Yeah, of course. So, charcuterie boards have, have gained a lot of popularity over the last few years. Why do you think that is? Well, I think people have always loved meat and cheese boards. It's kind of like a timeless thing that you've always seen. And I think almost during the pandemic that people were bored. So it gave them something to do to spend time making them pretty. And with social media, people like to take pictures of their food. So I think yeah. that kind of helped grow the trend. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's kind of a step up, I guess. We talked earlier about um, your basic meat and cheese tray, mm -hmm. but they look so much Prettier. Right. <laughs> yes, it, that's one important thing of the charcuterie yeah. board is to make sure it's pretty. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Plate Me QC and, ha yeah. and how it got started. Yeah, so I have always loved entertaining and I always was the type to like take pictures of my food. I wanted it to look pretty. So I love um, appetizers entertaining. So I started off making these cheese plates for my friends and family. And then once I saw that there was potential to grow into a business, I started getting like all my licenses and all um, all that little details yeah. to make it legal, uh, use a commercial kitchen for my catering and all that. So, so you've come a long way. I have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you, now are, you, are you still doing stuff for your friends or are you just too busy? Uh, they still work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always, making, Always make making, time. Yep. making time. All right, so what goes into making a good charcuterie board? So I would say, um, the versatility, number one, like for cheeses, I like to have uh, a lot of different types of cheeses. I like to do like a softer cheese, a hard cheese, differences okay. of flavor, so you have the variety. Um, to me, the most important part is having good quality products. Yeah, So yeah, that can make a big difference. It can, because, you know, it's kind of a simple thing, so it goes a long way to have the quality. Yeah, for sure. So. Why don't you go ahead and show us how it's done? We have yeah. an empty plate or an empty okay. tray here. Yes, here is one of the trays. I use these palm leaf boards. So if you ever order a board, you get to just take it um, just like this, and that way it's ready to serve. Okay. So um, I like to do a honey or a jam to have something to mix it up. Um, I always start with the cheese first when I build my board. But okay. You know, if you're making it at home, just you can have the freedom. Just do whatever. I don't like to have really like a plan before I uh -huh. start. I kind of just, <laughs> just go with the flow of how it feels that day. I like to, oops, I like to do my cheeses in different cuts so then it, you know, kind of looks a little bit more interesting, something different to look at. So you can kind of just style it however you like. Like you see triangles, uh -huh. little sticks, these little rustic crumbles. And you want to spread it out a little bit too because yeah. we have to fill in those yep. gaps, so, right? Yep. So that's how I start with the cheese is kind of like a building block okay. and then next I would do the meats. Um, the salami is fun to kind of line up in a row. Oh you know, okay just yeah. Do it however you want. And I like you could to, roll it or. You can roll it. Um, it's popular to see like a salami rose. Um, uh -huh. Oh yes I have seen those. Those are so. so I kind of like it how it looks in just like a ribbon to. Well see you made these kind of look like yeah, a flower. So those are pretty. Fold it like that and then you can add um, differences. So I like to use like a few different meats too. That way people can mix and match uh -huh. when they're making a bite. So I think that's what's popular about charcuterie boards too, because you can kind of personalize it. Even when you're taking a bite, you might mix the cheese with yeah. the jam and all yeah. that. So next I do meat. And then I would add, say, like the pickles, olives, just kind of wherever you see a hole, then you can kind of just start going filling for it. it and filling it in. Yeah. The end. Um, I like to do dried fruit and fresh fruit. So here, I would like to balance out the colors. A oh, right, bit. and that's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. So it's fun to have like bright colored things mm -hmm. to our seasonal items whenever you can. And then the fresh fruit always on the plates. So what would you say about safety protocols though when it comes to these boards? So anything we should keep in mind? Yes. So since it is um, meat and cheese. You have to be careful about how long that you have them out mm -hmm. out of the refrigerator. So a lot of people, it takes you, it can be, take a while 
to make the tray. So then you have to think <laughs> that you want to have your guests have time to actually eat yeah. the tray too. Yeah. So you have about four hours of time, so like after you take it out of the fridge, uh -huh. there's four hours where it's still okay. The right, four hours, folks. Yes, that's <laughs> so, that's what you've got. Yes. <laughs> you have to be a little bit quick in making it. So then you don't give food poisoning to right. your guests. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't want that. No. That's not a good thing. So if folks no. want to order one of these yes. uh, beautiful boards, how do they do so? Yep. Um, so you can email me at platemeqc at gmail.com, okay. or else if you follow on Instagram or Facebook, it's at platemeqc. On Facebook, it comes up as just plate me, and then Instagram platemeqc. Okay, wonderful. These look so delicious well, thank you. and so pretty. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, for more information, you can make an order. As she said, check out Plate Me QC on Instagram, and we'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com.